Hello there, Facebook. It's Eliza Bloom Robinson coming in. I haven't been in for a while. I have been uh, down that bug that so many people are getting got me. So I haven't done a live in a while, but I wanted to pop in today and um, put a call out. I know that there are uh, some people that I am speaking to, and I'm wondering if it might be you. And the people that I'm speaking to, well, a little background before I actually give you that. Um, here's what's coming up. What's coming up for me in a lot with a lot of the people that I'm working with, with a lot of the groups that I'm speaking to, um, with a lot of my clients and with people that I know, my friends and my colleagues, is there's an up-leveling that is happening as our world looks like it's down leveling i don't know if that's a term as our world looks like it's going into more and more chaos there is an up leveling that is happening within those of us who are spiritual beings who are here on this planet to do a mighty work and to make a big impact in the world you know if it's you if it's not you, just listen and be inspired, and that's great. But if it's you, I want you to know you're not alone. And if it's you, and if you have that thing inside of you that you know, when you step back and lean into your big vision or lean into your big why or lean into your dream, you know there's an impact for you to make. You know that you are up to big things on this planet. And yet for many of us, there's this disconnect, right? Like I know my vision is big. And I know that right now my impact is here. Or, or maybe it's here, but it's here compared to where it's meant to be. I also know that every time I lean in and come back or come close or come in to an expansion, there is an automatic contraction. Sometimes that shows up like um, expansion hangovers, or sometimes that can show up for different people as, as maybe a diagnosis or a flu bug or a cold or um, an issue or a challenge. Like you get close and then life seems to give you some bumps. It's nothing to worry about. It's only something to lean more into because we are changing consciousness. We are changing our vibration. And every time we expand, everything that is not in alignment with that expansion has to be cleared. It can be surrendered. The simplest way is to simply acknowledge it and surrender it. And that works brilliantly when it does. And when it gets to be um, <clears throat> acknowledged and the surrender isn't quite so happen, it's quite so easy, there's a lot of process. That's what I do with my clients is dissolving and dismantling those obstacles or those old patterns. We actually um, transcend the subconscious using the quantum field so that we open up space for us to lean in more. So I have a uh, retreat coming up. It's not a retreat. It's so much more than a retreat. It is an immersion experience. So picture this. Feel this lean into this as a possibility. We are in the amplified energies of Sedona. Sedona, Arizona with those beautiful red rocks and the spiritual energy that is present. Take it a step further, actually a quantum leap further. We are at this amazing retreat space called Angel Valley that is exquisite in its energy. It is so uh, beyond the veil. It is, um, I was talking to Michael, who's the owner out there, and he said it's, it is a fifth dimensional gateway. So for those of you who understand that language, who are intrigued by that language, you're the one I'm talking to. For those of you who go, I don't know what that means, and you're still intrigued, we can talk. It is governed by, uh, really by Archangel 
And I've been having a lot of Archangel Michael experiences the last couple of weeks ever since we booked to the retreat there a few weeks ago. And what is coming through for this experience? It's an immersion. It's four days. It's three nights. It's all inclusive. We step onto the grounds and we don't leave and we be transformed. So the work that is coming through to do as we are together in Sedona at Angel Valley, working with spirit, working with the Council of Light, the entities of light, the Council of Spirit that I've been working with for eight years or more, and of course many years before that, but with this particular energy as we are going to get to that one thing that keeps you from being who you're here in the world. And we are going to dismantle that. We'll have lots of support. But not only will we dismantle that obstacle, that reason, that pattern, that karmic thing, that soul agreement, whatever it is, but we are going to be lifted energetically, individually, and collectively to bring our light into the world in such a bigger way. This work is so supported and I'm looking for you. Are you the one? Are you the one? We still have some openings. Um, uh, the way to find out more about it, I'll post the link in the comments, but the way to find out about it, it's an invitation only. So um, there's an urgency, there's a limited number. And if this is intriguing to you, four days, three nights in the Amplified Energies of Sedona, at Angel Valley with Archangel Michael, with myself, with a small group of spiritually committed people. Um, message me, private message me. We'll hop on the phone and we'll talk because it is invitation only. Um, we need to know that you're all in alignment so that the group that's gathering is in alignment. So take a breath. I see some of you are here, Carl and Hillary and Debbie and Jim and I uh, saw some people uh, scroll up, um, Bill. So glad that you're here live with me. Is this you? Are you a spiritual awakening being? Are you here for a purpose, for an impact that is so much bigger than you even know now and certainly bigger than you're making now? That impact is it bigger than what you're making now. If this is you, message me and let's talk. I'll tell you all about this opportunity in Sedona. It will be absolutely uh, transformational. It will be exquisite. It will be um, so sacred. And it will be an experience of being not only who you are, but being who you are becoming in this supportive container. I'm Eliza Boone Robinson, Transformational Catalyst wondering if this is you. If it is, message me. We'll hop on the phone and we'll talk further. So much love to you. I appreciate you. Mwah. Until next time.